Have you ever had the feeling that you knew what someone was going to say just before he said it? Or have you ever walked into a strange room and had the sensation that you'd been there before? Well, if you have, you've taken a small step beyond. Now watch a giant step. <laughs> Jefferson High School. By day, his corridors are noisy with kids. At night, it's quiet. There's only one class, English, for the foreign born. This is their teacher, Lois Morrison. Practical, efficient, down to earth. Barely 10 feet away from an experience. There's absolutely nothing to do with Earth. Uh, Miss Morrison. Oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, 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 please. Uh, uh, I have a uh, surprise. Oh? No. Because I speak English so good with the customers. The boss at the butcher shop, he gives Tomacek five buck raise. Well, well congratulations. Oh, no, wait, wait, please. To you should go congratulations to a lovely lady who teaches me. Thank you. Uh, wait, please. Uh, for you. Uh, because you teach me English so good. A small appreciate. Appreciate is not the right word. Well, I couldn't possibly accept this. It's very thoughtful of you, but... But what? Well, it's just not proper. Because Tomacek is so ugly. Thank you very much, Mr. Tomachek. It's very beautiful. Did you give her that, huh? You want to be a teacher's pet or something? <laughs> now, tomorrow, you know, uh, a nice red apple on the desk. Uh, compliments, Mr. Tomachek. Hey, instead of an apple, Tomachek should bring the teacher pork chops and roast beef from the butcher shop, so she will look so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shut up! Please! What's Please. the matter? I only tried to make a joke, Mamma Mia! What's the matter? You don't like to be a butcher, huh? Shall we go to work? Well, words that sound the same, but have absolutely opposite meanings. Do you have any words? I, I, I know a bunch. I, I wrote them down. Um, a sense, uh, like brain. Uh, and, and sense, like pennies. Bear like animal in zoo, and uh, bear like, uh, excuse me, uh, you know, no clothes. <laughs> That's very good. Two like one, two, and, and two like uh, me also. And two like... Uh, Excuse me, what kind of English is that? I bet Miss Morrison would stop talking so much in Dutch. Uh, uh, no, this isn't Dutch. What happened? I don't understand.
No. No. It cannot be. It cannot be. It cannot be. It cannot be. You're right like her. It's not possible. I could. What are you talking about? It is a trick. Huh? Oh, Mr. Tomachek. No, no, it is, it is, a, it is a joke to, to make me crazy. <laughs> what is happening here? What is happening to me? That is Clara's writing. How could I possibly write like that? Yes. How could you write like my Clara? She's dead. Five years. Five years. In January. In the old country. What are you talking about? I have letters from her in my room. It is the same writing. Have you gone out of your mind? I, I showed it to you. No. You must be mistaken about the writing, Mr. Tomachek. Do you speak my language? No. You sure? I said I didn't speak it. But you wrote it perfect. What did I write about? Well, must have been something. Foolishness. What a young girl in love would write. Like what my Clara wrote to me. Where did you say those letters were? I told you. In my room. I must see them. Will you turn out the lights, Mr. Tomachek? What is it? In the darkness. You remind me of Clara. You go still more. I tell you when to turn. And when I see the letters, and I convince myself that it is the same writing, what then? I don't know. And even if it isn't the same writing, how could I possibly write in a language I don't know? Go through red light. You have seven days to report in on this. It's room 102 in the courthouse. You just sign your name and address right there on the bottom. Miss Morrison? I'm very nervous tonight. I can see that. I, I honestly don't think I could hold my hand steady enough to sign my name. Well, you just do the best you can. I couldn't, couldn't I just accept the ticket and just let it go at that? No, ma'am. Why? It's the law. Well, I just can't do it. Why not? I told you, I can't. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to, Miss Morrison. Right there at the bottom, your full name and address. Oh, God. Well, you look a lot better. 
I feel a lot better. I told you, the hypo and a couple of hours rest and you'd be as good as new. Can I go home? Well, let's just have a little look-see. That sounds more like a heart. I must have thought I'd gone quite mad. I've seen a lot worse. It's true, though. Mm-hmm. About the writing. I know it must sound absolutely crazy, but it's true. Yes, Miss Morrison. I don't say yes, Miss Morrison, like that. Eight other people saw it, too. Well, I'm sure it's something your own doctor can explain quite satisfactorily. I'd see him first thing tomorrow. How can he explain it? You're telling me it's perfectly normal. I should start writing in a language I don't know. Like a woman who's been dead for five years. man who was in the car with me, Mr. Tomachek. Ask him. I sent him on home an hour ago. He would have told you. We talked a little. Well, what did he tell you? Look, you just go home, take two of these, and the doctor to give me a ring. What did Mr. Tomachek say? Miss Morrison, there's a four-year-old kid in the next room who swallowed about a pound of bird seed. Well, what did Mr. Tomachek say? Didn't he tell you about the writing? Well, yes. He said you wrote something on a blackboard. And it upset you very much. Is that all he said? He spoke very highly of you as a teacher. Didn't he tell you the writing was the handwriting of a dead woman? No. Look, these things happen when a person's overtired. Nothing to worry about. If you take care of it right away. I mean that. About seeing your doctor. Where's my car? In the parking lot. Thank you. Sit down, please. Sit down. Breakfast, supper, teacher, teacher, teacher. You would think you are, anyhow, the queen of some place. <laughs> well, see, it's late. He's usually home studying. You would think he's a college professor instead of a butcher, the way he studies. Oh, somebody should really take care of him. That's his Clara. She died. He cries like a baby at the mention of her name. A grown man. It's incredible. Writing is the same. What? The inscription. Oh, you mean what she wrote? Yes, very lovely. Do you read the language? Yes, Mr. Tomachik and I are from the same province. She was lovely. Sit down. Sit down. He will be here soon now. It's very late. 
He will be so proud. His famous teacher is here. He will want to put up a sign. Just between us. He is a little sweet on you. Oh, excuse me. I, I don't think I will wait. Oh, you got to. He would be so disappointed. But would you ask him to telephone me as soon as he comes in, no matter how late? Sure. Just write down your number on the pad. Oh, uh, I'm in the book. Hello? No, he isn't in yet, Miss Morrison. And I'm starting to worry. Well, will you be sure to tell him to call me when he does come in? Miss that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe you can help me. Well, I, I think I could. But, but it's been a long time. I'm out of practice. It's just a few words. I, I just want to know what they mean. That's uh, he. Or him. That's is. That's, um, let's see. Oh, you know, like, um, like outside. Who is it? Me, Pomerton. Oh, uh, uh, hold on, just just a minute. Mr. Tomacek, it happened again. I was just on the phone with your landlady. She's translating. Oh. You should have listened to Clara. He is out there. If you not let him in, he will kill you. You want to know what Clara wrote on the blackboard? Watch out. Watch out or he will kill you. Just like he killed me. Watch out. She laughed at me. It was a field near our village, the outside. It was winter, quiet. I mean, out. Same like cloud. Why you laugh at me when I give you present? Hmm? But I didn't. You did. You did. But I took it. 
from pretty. Yes. You, you think Tomacek is ugly, eh? Huh? No, ah. no. Inside Tomacek is good. Fine. Like a prince. You don't know. You laugh. You hurt. It's like to poison. <laughs> she don't work after you know. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh. Love. Oh. Love. Hello? We got disconnected. Listen, I changed this to English, but it don't make any sense. Please. Miss Morrison, is something wrong? Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> the history test paper on which Clara wrote her final message is now in the private collection of a respected student of psychic phenomena. It is a most dramatic example of automatic or psychic writing. There are other less lurid but equally puzzling examples, such as these books. Psy Tale, Hope True Blood, a light from beyond, all apparently dictated in the 1920s to a Mississippi Valley housewife, an English author, dead for 300 years. Now, after decades of investigations by the most skeptical scientists, no one has been able to disprove this psychic miracle. Automatic writing cannot be explained, certainly not on any rational level. One can only wonder about the persistent evidence of its existence and perhaps hope that someday it may furnish still another clue to that unknown world beyond our five senses.